everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to play This Town by Niall Horan. As always, the sheet music that I use can be found on ultimateguitar.com. For this tutorial, I use the second version. I'll have it linked down below. There are only five chords needed to play this song. They are G, C, N9, E minor, D, and D over F sharp. If you want to know how to play these chords, I'll link their tutorials down below. You also want to put your capo on the second fret. It's only broken down into four sections, the verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and the bridge. As always, the strumming pattern and the chord being played will be displayed in the top left hand side. To make things easier, a D will symbolize a down strum, and a U will symbolize an up strum. If you find this strumming pattern too difficult, please feel free to do consecutive down strums, then work your way up from there. Now that we're all set, let's get started. So to start out playing this song, you um, the chords that we'll be playing will be a G, a D slash F sharp, an open chord, which will just have the two fingers on the third fret of E and B. You'll have an E minor chord, a C at 9, and a D. So if you're unfamiliar with how to play these chords, I will link their tutorials down below and you can freshen up on how to play those. Um, and I'll show you the plucking patterns for each chord as well. So the general plucking pattern for the G is you're going to pluck the low E first and then you're going to pluck B and G together. So it'll be, so it'll be, and then you'll repeat that like I'll kind of show you, this will include one G. So when it'll be like, let's say it'll be G times four, it'll be, so it'll be like one, two, three, four. The same will be for an E minor, which you will pluck the A string and then followed by the B and G. So it'd be. So when it says E minor, you'll be. That means this. Then for the C add 9, you're going to go into C add 9 position. You're going to pluck the A string followed by the B and G as well. So it'll be. And you'll, it'll follow the same pattern as before. Then there'll be a D. Then you'll pluck the D string, followed by the E and B chord. So it'll be. So if it'll be like D times four, I'll be. And lastly, the last one is you want to do is you're going to be like in a G position, but you are going to just remove these two fingers here so that the low E is open. So you will have, um, you'll just pluck the low E followed by the B and G together. So we. So this will be marked as open. And lastly, we're also going to have a D um, slash F sharp, which will be, you'll go into this position and then you'll pluck the low E followed by the B and G. So it'll be. Mm -hmm. 